and Rain misses a shot. He absolutely had to nail. Kerrigan at least gets time because of it to get away, but it's he and Nico to hold this off. Oscar's low. All he needs to do at this point is to find out where Kerrigan is. He spotted his foot. He'll go back for an easy kill. Here we go then, it's Nico coming in, the backline takes down Chris J. All of a sudden, it's flipped around once again. Two versus one, the world's best player up against it to stay in the game. They'll go for the fake defuse, but Nico not taking the bait. Can he finish this job? Yes, he can! We're going to overtime! Oh my god! In the flames as well! If you guys want to open up free cases, make sure to use the codes in the description on pandaskins.com. Every video will have two new limited codes so make sure to use them ASAP before everyone else. Also make sure to use code SCENERY at referral when you deposit for a free bonus as well. You can open insane cases for nice profit like I did here with this legend of Anubis AK and withdrawing your prizes is quick and easy. I withdrew to Steam and PayPal and you can too. So go grab your free cases and bonus right now. Good luck have fun my friends. Hope you enjoy. AWP's Canadian burnout, can't find a thing, still we have fallen, making it happen, making Team Liquid be that semi-finalist, refresh as good as he's been, as much as he's given us. This is a Team Liquid victory, teed up. He's on for a third. Now fly oh. dead as well, refresh. How are you making this happen? Grim, the pit hero, the guy who's dug deep throughout this entire series to save that A-bomb site, has now got to come in clutch at B. Refresh on for the ace in a one-on-five clutch. He's looking to keep his legacy in check. This never should have happened. It should have never been this close. Grim, his heart's racing, his heart's beating, but Refresh can't find him. It's a guessing game. Stick on the bomb. Grim doesn't swing, he thinks it's a fake. Refresh oh! with all five, and we're going to overtime. It looks like they're about to uh, see if they can get the bomb out here, but if Snacks dies with the bomb to scream, that means this round is going to be very hard to salvage. Oh, does he know? Either that or that grenade failed miserably, but it looked like he kind of did. Pasha pushing in here, gonna get the perfect timing, and Dennis will end up going down. So now it's gonna be a 4v5 here. 35 seconds left on the clock, and Pasha flanking all the way around. Great headshot on Fox and Scream. If he gets this kill, he might be able to salvage the round. That's gonna be Snacks going down with the bomb, and 27 seconds left. This is doable. Scream just has to hide, but he goes down to Neo. It's still a 2v4. If he just stays alive, he should have run into T-Spawn and just waited for that bomb, and that would have been a big issue. But now it's Rain and Michaelele, 2v4 here, and Michaelele gonna go down eventually. Neo to finish it off, and it doesn't look possible here. Rain gets three kills, though, and now one bullet left. And Patrick gets the quad kill. Are you kidding me? Rain, he picks up every single one and takes it to overtime. That is unreal. One HP. They just might have done it. A bit of a missed shot, but they're trying to chase him down, and there's still a stack at the bomb side. Jax is there to pick up the kill. Have they done enough, G2? It shocks inside. We're gonna get that fifth back. Twist, he's on one versus two. He tries for the bomb plant. There's surely no way he could do it. They have got him boxed in right now. He's got nothing to work with except this rifle. He gets the headshot, turning it around, and no! He picks it up. It's overtime! It should be absolutely impossible! For his team, or are we going to be seeing that the first map go over towards Space Soldiers? Obviously, their map pick. He's on the A site. He waits for the peak. Takes down Paz. Big kill here. He's going to be able to get the bomb planted. It's quite an interesting position as well. Utility wise, he has also got quite a lot here. One going to be coming in from A main. One is slowly going to be rotating over from B. A little bit slow, with all things considered. Flash goes out. He picks up the frag. This is starting to look very, very possible here. But Kalex, he's been playing very well this game. Might just be able to pull this one out of the bag next. Might not expect the push through the smoke if it does come through at the same time. If he decides to rotate through that, he might just be able to have the advantage. He's now going to be waiting for that smoke to dissipate. But Kallax, he's going to be looking to peek through. He's now going to be through onto the other side. Next, going to be coming around the corner. Gets the headshot. We're going to overtime. Once again towards that A-Site. What can they do? What can Virtus Pro do differently to uh, prevent this as Taz is being pushed out of his position and Pasha will come in. MBK does get the first frag onto Bialy, but there's a lot of confusion raining on in that site. Smiths is going to get down before he can get a kill as the bomb is planted and we're at four on four after plant, but not much health on two players on that uh, Titan side. And now we're down to just two alive. Kenny has though still to play his hand and he's going to have to play it oh, soon. No. He's the last man standing. Gets a hell of a hit onto Snacks. Oh. Oh. Up with one onto Pasha. Oh. Oh. 
Can you believe it? Yes. Yes. Delivers in style as he will pull Titan back from the precipice oh. of defeat to save the draw for Titan. Plant, and it's a 3v4 retake for PKD. Kits are plentiful, though. It should be doable here, but they've got to find a fag quickly because still they're a man down, as you say. Cressy jumping in through the hut. Going to spot the first world, and it goes down, moving in for a little bit more, baiting out shots left and right. Waylander will be spotted, and Pulse finds Markov. What's happening? He gets himself a double electronic trade. Oh! He gets a spray down. That's insane. Flipside pick it up. They're bringing it to OT, and all off the back of electronic going absolutely crazy. All off with a Molotov that he spotted. Defeat Kerrigan on Lacro. Back to four aside. And that's going to encourage the B take. They're certainly ready for it. Rain, good angle, flush a good trade. Olaf, speed to get inside of the side. AWP, it actually hit. It connected on Guardian, got confused because Olaf came to the top of the ladder. And that's going to leave Olaf up close as well to the bomb as Golden and Flusha have to be the two to pull this back to force this the distance. Bomb already planted, thankfully, and Flusha with one, but he's got a lot more to go. In fact, he needs another ace just to keep Fnatic alive and phase. Trials and tribulations in finals, and they certainly showed through again. They might finally redeem from last year and get their first IEM championship. It only takes one kill. Flusha, he's not going to allow that easily. Gets it down to just Guardian, 17 HP. And that gives Flusha the upper hand as well. Flash out. He's faced off of it, forced off the angle, and Flusha's got us going the distance as he hits the shot, and we tie things up. He's done it again, Flusha. In through Porch with the pop flash. Looking to get the first flick, can't find it. It is refreshed now. They're all so weak. Gets himself the first one. Two more players to find as time is up. The essence here gets the next one. Refreshes on for this. One more player to go. Starts to get really close here now. Four shocks and refresh. What a clutch. All three kills. And we're going to overtime, ladies and gents. The sleeping giant who has woken up, ladies, up to 15 kills. 10 in the last eight rounds, none more important for Fnatic than this. He's got a kit, he's got a smoke, he's got an M4, and Glaive's got a UMP and he's playing a far angle. He's hoping desperately that he can play this to time and he can line up the shot, smoke on it. Olaf's gonna hold this, Olaf's gonna hold this, Glaive's off, no. Olaf's got it, two seconds, Olaf's got it to overtime. What an incredible play from the world's former best that he shows it again. Ninja defuse for overtime. Not enough. A double spray down, a combination with Brokey, and it's left onto one lone Lithuanian. Esperanto, the star of the last map, over 30 kills to his name, needs another three. This map has been a little bit more quiet and he's been spotted. They know where he is, but he's going to try and isolate Rain. He does just that. A first kill, but he loses a hell of a lot of HP, and the time is against him. Two to five. He spots the man on the corner, gets the second as well. It's up to Brokey, who misses the shot. The first doesn't go, but the time is ticking. 13 seconds, he lands it, and we go to overtime. Esperanto saves contact once again. Kits, that's not an issue. It's about the guns on the other side. Nades in towards the back of sight. That might find them one. It's TRK, the healthy player. They do find mob. Oh, TRK what? now collected, and this is working out. They're still the gearing keep on hitting. half the timer here. But the kill's not going their way. It's all down to Pesa. He's found two. One, one. one more. A clutch. And <laughs> Fallen takes it. One more. We're getting more rounds. Inferno's not done. And if they boost and connect, they can hold on to it. Brokey goes through. He misses, oh, though. Yeah. And NIP can get a bomb palm with 15 seconds remaining. Brokey and Olaf, the two on three that needs to happen if FaZe want to keep this series going. lecro has been picked up. The shot connects for Brokey. And it's down to twist with the AWP. Oh. He knows where both players are. The bomb in his sight. And the shot connects. It's the one-on-one -on -one that won't See happen. Pokey picking it up and taking us to yet another overtime. What a shot in an absolute half there. This man. Any longer. It's made clear. And Bialy's there. Bates, but he doesn't commit. And neither does Doja as World Edit works up. It's Doja with the kill. Bialy with the trade. And World Edit with no kit to play with. He has to run all the way towards Banana. A kill needed. He jumps on the bomb for the full commitment. That's just optimistic. We will oh. see the peak from Bialy. Surely, surely no. he falls on this. Two seconds. No way, World Edit. He does it. And Russia. They find 15 rounds on the back of a 10-second defuse. And that's a tie. A ridiculous tie.